is up everybody welcome back to the channel and today i'm going to do an overview on our 73 camaro what all we've done uh, the products we've used maybe some of the hiccups or problems we had while we were doing this project so stay tuned and let's get to it okay so here's our car it's a pro touring setup camaro that we've been working on for a couple years and it's just been an awesome experience. We just uh, love it. One thing, uh, if you haven't seen all the other videos, we've made some videos on this car. Go on back and check them out. Tell us what you think. And how, uh, yeah, how you like it and what you might do different and all that. So with this car, the first thing, well, with any car, is have a plan. Have a plan in the direction you want to go. A budget, a lot of times the budgets get blown because you're already there and you want to make it better and there's nothing wrong with that. But it will set you back and it could definitely cost more than what you think initially. So that's what I would say is have a plan. And, you know, for the most part, the plan on this one turned out pretty close to what we were thinking. The paint is not what I was wanting. This is an actual paint color from Summit called Summit Racing. I uh, wish I would have kept the can, but it was a um, supposed to be a dark gray, but it looks like a primer to me. So I guess I, I did spray a test panel and in some ways it looks kind of like uh, they, they quoted and said, but I'm not that happy with it as far as that goes, but that's not what this car was built for. It was built for more to be a autocross or a road race car, or, you know, just get out and have fun with it and not worry about the, the paint so much. So, yep, that's what I would say is have a plan and, and kind of stick with it. Now, on your parts, you can go a couple different ways. If you order everything up front, I would say go with the same manufacturer because all the parts that you have, they don't work together. We have some, what are these, ICT billet motor mounts, and with those, then the hooker holly cross member doesn't work, then your drive shaft could be a, di you know, a different length, and even we just ordered a new rear end, and it was supposed to be the same width, and it wasn't, so, you know, you always have issues um, mixing vendors and different companies on their parts with that being said you can make a lot of it work it's just going to take a little bit more effort and uh you know figuring things out so this one we found it in a barn we stripped it completely down and it does take a lot of time you got to put the effort in for sure um and the more you do the the better off you are um as some people say if, if you can get out in the garage for 30 45 minutes do it because that might just clear up your head to get to order another part or get something small done so the next time you don't have to do it. But we stripped the whole car. We welded in some metal. This side's a new fender. Uh, we got a used door on this side, which I have the mirrors, uh, some cool mirrors that I need to install. The bullet style mirrors, I think. And we bought some used wheels off Craigslist. These are just XXRs with a, an adapter uh overview of the outside we painted all the trim black so this is just vht which i highly recommend there's some other good paints out there in the rattle can it's usually about the prep which um, takes a lot of prep to do all this and then we have the massive stop tech brakes in there with 14 inch rotors so we went really good you know did a really good job getting the right brakes and rear brakes are the same. They're a four piston set up. We actually kept this car leaf spring. Uh, we wanted to, to try that out. In some ways, I wish I would have went ahead and done a, a torque arm or a um, four link. And the only reason that is just for the adjustability. And I tried to put some really wide wheels on there and they were hitting the leaf springs. So, um, you know that's one thing you'll do something and you wish you might have done it different but that's one thing that i wish i might have done a little different okay so the front we have uh anvil headlights 
And then we bought a front spoiler. I think that one was off Jags. It was a really good deal. About 120 bucks. I like that. Uh, just painted the front bumper, painted the grill, painted the mirror. Like I said, we wanted to do this one on a budget. So we have a Sparco seat and we got that, uh, it was a new one, but we found it on Craigslist. I don't have the door panels installed yet. We went with the, uh, Holly dash and the terminator x kit we have a hearse shifter with a six speed transmission a new carpet cleaned up the rear seats did our own roll cage bar we were able to find these uh brackets right there off of uh let's see that was summit racing we have a full nine inch um rear end in it and then underneath still work in progress but it looked pretty good at one point but after you drive them a bit and we never finished painting the inside so there's still more work that we have to do we went with a budget used a truck accessory kit so yeah, we bought the little pulley and bracket right here. And then just trim this ear off. And that's an LS6 intake with a LS1 engine. We have a UMI front race kit on it. Comes with a, well, we ordered a 850 pound spring and an AFCO racing shock. Um, their upper and lower control arms with their stiffening braces and the front sway bar. We have electric fans from Mishimoto and a uh, radiator, aluminum radiator, Willwood manual brake setup. That's just the original clutch system off of a uh, O2 Camaro. SS and I trimmed down the pedal uh, bracket and all that. Then we have the chassis bars from Gen 2. So they basically stiffen up the front of the firewall to the front subframe. Just an eBay air intake for now. Uh, let's see, speed tech and engineering. I think these were speed and engineering. Uh, headers they fit really well had no issues with those we did a full three inch exhaust all the way back I think and they dumped but I don't like that because it just it stirs up dust and trash and everything so I really need to get that looked at again and have that extended out the back oh the gearbox we went with a really nice gearbox this is a PSC gearbox i believe it's 12 to 1 so it's a real nice fast ratio gearbox for racing there you can see the other stiffening bar down there mm, trying to think of anything else braided lines for the clutch oh the holly terminator x kit has just been awesome that's what we're running for the uh for the um, electronics and then we have the holly fuel tank in the back with the electronic fuel pump another thing that i've done i don't know if i would do it again as i ran the you've seen this the little nylon setup right here and you push that on it's a push lock setup they do okay but i just maybe a braided setup might have been a little better so we have videos on the brakes where we had to trim the spindles and everything to get those to work right and the brakes are really nice. Uh, I might add a booster later. I don't know. Everybody that I talk to likes a manual setup. And they'll lock the tires up quick. But I might end up going with a booster on it. Really, I haven't got to drive it as much as I would like. So probably just getting some seat time on it. And then the other thing is here, I welded the whole chassis 
because from the factory, it was just not that great. So we welded the whole chassis. Oh, we put in solid bushings on the radiator, all those parts. Oh, and I have uh, subframe connectors under it. You can see that. And then in the rear end, we have the Ford nine inch and then, oh, it's dirty. Ford nine inch rear end have a one inch Helwig sway bar, Durlin bushings, uh, spherical bearings on the on the leaf springs. So like I said, this is this is kind of one of those cars that it's not I don't want to say it's not supposed to be that fast, but if you look at it, you're like, oh, it's a leaf spring car, but it's a really good car as far as handling. As a matter of fact, I would think that it handles just a Probably not quite as good as the Z06, but it's it's close. It's for what it is, it's a pretty good car and we can go ahead and put, you know, keep working on it, sticky your tires. I don't know if we're gonna repaint it, rewrap it, use it as is. So yeah. Well, I appreciate you checking it out. Uh like, comment, subscribe if you've made it this far. I appreciate you watching the video and we are going to do uh, probably some sort of giveaway. We're up to 320 or 19 subscribers, which is awesome. So, yeah, we're going to, I don't know what it'll be. So, you all just stay tuned. All right. Thank you. All right. So, he's going to power it on. Turn it another click. There we go. So, you hear the fuel pump, the fans. We just went on a quick drive. The Holly's lighting up. Holly Digital Dash. All right, Nathan, can you start it up? We're going to hear a, a Pro Touring Camaro with a cam. <laughs> This is just a, a 232, no, 228, 232 cam in this one. So there's a lot more work that could be done. My brother gave me the idea of doing a stroker engine. That's a actually a really good idea. Instead of buying a crate motor, just use this one. And a stroker on this one, I think you can get a 388 or a 488. So. Yeah. All right, Nathan, you can shut it off. I just wanted to give him a quick idle.